As I'm walking out, I'm just kind of envisioning, you know, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, uh, and just executing the first hurdle, getting my hips where they need to be. Starter says on your mark. I kind of start playing what I'm going to do. So as I get in the blocks, I'm telling myself power speed, power speed, power speed, power speed. A lot of people have to win multiple races in order to be in that talk. All I got to do is win one race, and that's in August. August 20th is the only race that I got to win. So I kind of know when, it, when it's World Champs time, I'm always, I'm always prepared, I'm always ready. I just threw up, so I'm a little bit out of it. Wednesday, so halfway through the week. Hopefully when it's all done, Friday we can have a good old glass of bourbon. Top shelf. Start this dishwasher first. Take Peach in. That crazy girl right there. And then afterwards, go to practice. Treatment. Two rounds of treatment and that's, that's it. Real easy, kind of early, but quick day. Once we, once we get to the track, everything goes a little bit faster. So we'll work hard at the track, then we'll go get some, treat, some treatment, get ready for a Friday's workout, and then um, we'll be all good. Right, baby? Right? This room is fucking ridiculous. Gaming, work, and then Hall of Fame room. And there's some stuff I still need to put up. World title on a magazine. Legion record for LSU did that. Some family, the lady. Between that poster, that poster, there's another poster hidden between all the other junk. Got a little bit more stuff. And if you turn right here to the pop collection, I would say Dragon Ball Z is definitely my favorite anime. This is probably one of the best trophies I've ever had. Um, the Putt-Putt King. And this is what happens when you get the Putt-Putt King, 2-0. So if you want to come to Gainesville and fight for the right for the trophy, just let me know. These are all the world teams I've made in my, in my career. Well, I've been with Team USA, all four of them. Tokyo, I got the silver. Doha, I got the gold. Oregon got the gold. Belgrade got the gold. I like that gold trend. I don't like the silver trend. <laughs> um, jersey I wore uh, at Oregon. Um, my senior day jersey, even though I didn't graduate, I did a makeshift one. Jersey I wore at Worlds. I got the rings. I got stuff all over the place, man. It's the world record jersey. It's not even hanged up. I ran out of space in this house. Got the Grant Holloway in the and the bib, first time I wore it in Boston. It's always a good feeling, man. Always a good feeling. Where's your leash? Where's your leash? What happens when you have a bougie ass dog? Get out of no white water. Come on. Okay. Get even more bougie. All right, let's do this. Dropping Peach off at the daycare. Peach. Man, that's 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 the good man. That's Big Mike. How you doing, that's man? That's Big Mike. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Be good. We'll see you later. All hey, right. So how happens you get a bougie ass dog? Dog don't want to drop out of no damn water. The Oval Office, the Blue Office. Get some work in. Oh. First one out here. I'll be the last one to leave. Wait, the 
today. Um, general warm up, some block starts, go over five hurdles, and then we got two times over 11 standing. So work on some of that flat speed, kind of what we feel in the race. Double back 15 minutes later, kind of like the rounds. Like you're not tired, but you can kind of feel your heart rate and you can kind of feel like some of the nerves and everything fit in, uh, sit in. So you can kind of like feel like what it's gonna feel like in the meet. And then, um, yeah, go over the second set, cool down, chill, get some treatment. That's all she wrote. Good day at work. That's Rob. That's Rob Dunning. And he wears a snapback when he plays his video games. Who no. wears snapbacks now? I don't excuse wear that. Me, excuse me, it's not, it's not a snapback, it's a fitted cap. I don't own any of that. We were playing Call of Duty, but I haven't played since you left my crib, honestly. That is my training partner, my life partner. Life partner. My roommate. <laughs> uh, my brother, my teammate. Funny story though, literally. Rob and I raced each other when we were like, probably when we were young, we were like super young, when it was like 80 meter hurdles, like we were little boys. And then Rob and I didn't see each other for like 10 years. And then Rob pops up out of nowhere at, uh, at, at University of Alabama. And I'm like, bro, I have not seen you since we were little kids. So I saw Rob 2019, obviously 2020 was COVID. And then I saw him again warming up here, right down there where the pictures were. And I was like, man, go ahead. So then Rob ended up winning nationals that year. Um, and then, what, a year and a half, two years later, he moved the, moved the game to? Yeah, so today we're going to work on hurdling. Okay, um, what we got today? Because he's coming at it, you know. And here's the thing. So you're here. You're here. And so I want you to, I want you to keep your head up like that. Here, stand up tall at the hurdle uh -huh. and make it happen. That's Jesse Milson. It's my boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Volunteer coach, one of the best ones ever. He is the man. Like usually, when Jesse or Coach Holloway is around or something like that, I always say practice makes permanent, permanent makes paper. That's just a motto that I live by. Because it's true. You know, if you're if you're practicing and you're making that permanent, and you go out to the meets, you're gonna make you're gonna make some good money. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them things. I've been right there flirting with twelve. I've run thirteen oh a plethora of times, but probably running twelve after my god my god pops passed away. Did you run twelve in Paris? After hearing that news it was it was it was perfect, you know, just to get out there and do it for him. But um pr my practices this year have been in my eyes they've been great. I mean, now obviously they can be better. You know, practice is where you where you gotta, you know, that's where you get better at. But throughout the whole process, I think my practices can be, my practices have been really, really good. Um, from when I started in when I started in March till now, you know, it's been it's been good. Me and Rob been getting some good work in, and it's been it's been smooth. It's been smooth. Leading up to USA's, I got the buy so I can just continue to live stress-free until August. So um, that's the main goal, you know. Like I said, with models and stuff that I say all the time, a lot of people have to win multiple races in order to be in that talk. All I gotta do is win one race, and that's in August. August 20th is the only race that I gotta win. So that's what I got my eyes set on. Um, everybody else has to win multiple races just to you know, get in the talk of discussion, but they kind of know when, it, when it's World Champs time, I'm always, I'm always prepared, I'm always ready. Me and Rob, we get out here early, we, we do what we gotta do, we just grind. I mean, that's just all, for me, I know when and where I gotta be ready, and that's what I got my eyes set on, you know. I don't take I don't take it to take it too personal when I lose. I mean, I'm a champion. I mean, name, name one great player that, that likes to lose. I mean, regardless if it's Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Tiger Woods, you name somebody that likes to lose. I mean, we always are ready for that one fight or that one 
game or match that 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 really you know takes all the marbles. So I know where I need to be ready at, and I'm looking forward to that. Why on all the days we got a hurdle underneath when they put in the national championship sign up? I guess that's a good problem to have. I got the first couple, but it'll overheat, so I'll, I'll need you to do it. Okay. Get Melinda's out here to do it. Yeah. Rob, you want yours? Oh, actually, wait for <laughs> On your marks. Go, fellas. Constant acceleration on the other side. Pull the lean leg to the ground. Set. That's up to you. I don't remember what she said. That's why I'm asking you. Usually we do one, three, five, five, eleven, eleven. Okay. But I don't know. Yeah, we'll see it. We'll see how this five goes. Alright. The big thing is as long as we're feeling the proper. Until we get to the big dance. 30 hours a day, keep the doctor away. All right, but hot. <laughs> that was a good rep for the grain. Nice. Well, uh, uh, see that that right there we don't need. See how high that is? The hill. The hill. Yeah. See almost full. Yeah. Yeah. On your mark. I mean, granted, when I ran that time, it was at the Olympic trials, so it was kind of like put up or shut up type of moment. And I was already running consistent times, but like now, like this season, I'm running consistent times. I know what I have to do. I know how it needs to be done. So do I believe I can do it? Of course. Am I pressed to, you know, go get it and like make it happen? Not really, because I know if I execute for 10 hurdles, it'll be, It'll be, it'll be there. Now, it's just my goal to really just hone in, lock in and practice. And you know, like I said, practice makes permanent. And then <laughs> permanent makes the pay. Good days of work. Oh, this right here, fucking grind, blood, sweat, tears. Yeah, watch that one. Come on, Ed. Stay tall. Stay up, stay up. Come stay on, Ed. Up. She's going. She's going. It's always a good problem when he doesn't say anything. In that case, all you do is walk away. When we out here, we always push each other. I think that's the good thing about it. Rob, trust me, I trust Rob. We bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. Shit, that's why at one point we were number one and number two in the world. Now I think we're like number two and he's probably number five or six, maybe seven or eight. It's good, man. We work hard. 
We work fucking harder too. If I run sub 13, seven more times, I'll have the most sub 13s in history. And then at that point, I think I'll be considered one of the best hot hurlers ever. World titles are already there. Indoor, indoor titles are already there. As long as I, I get down about seven more, eight more sub 13s, I'll be, I feel like I've done everything I want to do in this, in this, in this realm, this sport. Yeah. Your feet was riding, bro. Was it? Yeah. I, I, I hit a hurdle three or four. Three. I hit three? Mm -hmm. Well, I was riding after that, though. I felt good. Like, my momentum, I would have felt better, but I still felt good. You know what I mean? I really do, really, really do like Adidas because not only do they care about me, they care about my family and everybody within it, you know. Through it all, like, when I wasn't running well, they were still supporting me when I was running well. They were supporting me. When I felt like I was off my A game, they always believed in me. So, you know, overall, man, they just a good family brand. You know, they take care of myself, my family, and everybody in between. So for that, I really do appreciate them. They, they good people for that. They good people for that. It's good, you know, it's good to see that three stripe all over Gainesville and here at the track. You know, when it's all said and done, we're all gonna be at world champs together. So we're all gonna be trying to, you know, conquer that one goal. Everybody wants to be a world champion in there. Respectable event. I just threw up. Uh, haven't thrown up on a harder workout since 2019. New heights. Good work. This Florida heat gets you, man. Gets you right. I just threw up, Melinda. I don't feel. I feel so out of it. Did you tell Coach Holloway you're moving next to? <laughs> did Coach Holloway? Did you say Coach Coach? I tell him. He figured out. Oh. I just threw up, so I'm a little bit out of it. It's, it's great, because we have the same mindset. We both want to be the best ever, so. It's, it depends on the day. Um, you know, some days it's phenomenal. Other days it's challenging, and some days it's like, you know, euphoric. Um, but the great thing about it is, like, I'm sure he feels the same way about me, so, <laughs> you know. I mean, I'm in the call room. Obviously, they give me my land assignments. We line up, cool. As I'm walking out, I'm just kind of envisioning, you know, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. So I set the blocks down, do my warm-up run. While I'm doing my warm-up run, I'm thinking um, power, speed, timing up, uh, and just executing the first hurdle. I'm getting my hips where they need to be. Um, do my first hurdle, go over two hurdles, I feel good. Um, starter says on your mark, I kind of start playing what I'm going to do. So as I get in the blocks, I'm telling myself power, speed, power, speed, power, speed, power, speed. Execute hips in the right area, and then um, obviously when I hear the gun, that's when I know I need to react to however what I need to do when I hear the gun, and then from there I just I just let the risk come to me. With me, I have a quick start, so I know once I get to the first hurdle, kind of just you know running through my race pattern, doing what I need to do, and kind of just trying to separate early, and then as I'm going down the track, just focusing on my rhythm, focusing on my rhythm, timing it up. And really, just being me, you know, that's what that's how I got here. Um, just kind of stepping out my com comfort zone a little bit, and you know, continue just to make my strong points stronger and my weak points um, stronger. Tropical smoothie. The place where champions are made. It was a hot one on the track today, so swinging the tropical smoothie. Got some good food. Then we go get treatment. It's pretty much the day. Go home and drink a glass of wine. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Good. It was hot as. Yeah, it's getting there. I'm not gonna curse. I'm not gonna curse. Mm -hmm. And you're headed out mm, Sunday. Sunday. Got it. Doctor West, one of the best chiropractors in the world. Oh, nice. You know how, look, he thought I was going to say in games. Uh, I don't know what you're going to say. In the world. Good. I'll take my team and you give me somebody that's broken. Bring them, to, <laughs> bring them to games but for one week. I have them walking out of here, a new person. Uh-huh. It was good, though. Great day. Went over 11 hurdles, speed, rhythm. So this is stop one of three here. We're going three different rooms today. Just stay. 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> One room, patient room, another room. I've been in all three of these. Break room. Oh, there's Carlos. He's eating. We're not gonna get him on camera. <laughs> I got a I got a camera following me around today. This is my best friend. There he is. <laughs> Doing great, man. Cool. How's the body feel? Really good. We just had a a fire session out the track, and I mean it in both ways. I I totally understand. <sighs> so it was just hot. It was just hot. This is for you. Some cool sunglasses. This is for you, my man. Put some cool sunglasses on. Oh, I got literally. I'm waking up to do a Pilates session. Nice. So with this, just keeping this trail leg, trail leg, trail knee, just loose and I guess stress free. <laughs> literally, get some information out just from the ground and pound and everything. But for the most part, just keeping the body, keeping the body happy. Using the strongest healing laser in the world right now. You heard the man. One of the strongest. No, not even one of the strongest. The strongest. That is why you need the glasses. It's a nice class four healing laser. There's only two in the state of Florida right now. And one's here in Gainesville. Okay. Tomorrow, though, nothing. I have Shannon in the morning okay. and Ryan in the afternoon. Oh, so we really mixed up things up this week. So after I saw you, I slept better. Mm -hmm. And then Monday was a little bit tough because obviously that was still fresh in my head. Yeah, your feelings a little bit yeah but okay. yesterday was a good night of rest. Like, okay. No complaints at all. All right. None. We're going to check your hips first. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to check your pulses. And we'll get right into it, okay? We're going to get right into it. Come on. Well, guys, this is a day in a life of Grant Holloway. <laughs> From treatment to practices to peach mm. to car rides it's a peach. <laughs> yeah i appreciate you guys joining but i gotta kick you guys out <laughs> can't let you guys know all the secrets <laughs> until next time